Goody, goody! <laughs> How the hawk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O, and I got something for you today. Yeah, check it out. We're gonna open up a box from eBay, the Evil Bay. <laughs> so, welcome to a one of Wednesday. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Dan. Look at there. I got a little smiley face. Ain't that nice? All right, all right. Well, let's get right into it. Oh, yeah, where did I get this from? Um, this is from Azil, Azil, uh, Azili, Azili, Azili TX. Yes, the TX. Yes, the Tyrannosaurus Rex of all states, Texas. <laughs> oh, my. Oh my, why isn't this just coming right off? I don't, I don't understand why this should just slide. This should just slide. Slide, slide, slippity slide. Got something brand new for today. Oh yeah, I could. We are stuck. All right, we are not stuck anymore. Throw that over there for the cleaning lady, aka Dano. All right, <laughs> let's get this open. Well, I hope you guys are doing all right. Um, yeah, I got this off of eBay, kind of excited about it. I think this is what it is. I uh, checked the tracking number, and some reason I got some funny tracking numbers. But, um, all right, let's just check it out. Here we are. Here we go. Oh, we got newspapers. All right. And we got a, and I got some envelopes. Yeah, dig them. <laughs> no. All right. No, we don't have envelopes. Although I probably could use some envelopes. But anyway, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Another another fine packing job here. All right, we're going to throw that this way. What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? Are you ready? Are you ready? We're going to do this fantastic... Yes, this is what I think it is. But bam Check this out. If I can get rid of all the trash that's around here. Look at this bad boy. All right. So, <laughs> I, I bought this off of eBay. Uh, I've never seen this color. Do you guys recognize this? I'm hoping that these wheels are for real. This looks interesting, promising up front here. They said it was rare, but you never know with eBay but beautiful heavy model uh do you know what it is yet right hooker 109 pickup I think this is it ready but bam interesting interesting can't read a darn tootin thing about it well hmm not sure exactly what is going on here um, I believe this is, I believe this is real stuff. I'm not sure. Uh, I, when I looked at the picture, uh, it, I could, you know, they showed this part and I thought it was, it was, uh, visible by, by, um, the picture they showed and I saw this part and I'm like, well, that looks like that possibly is uh for real stuff it looks like it fits into the base with some uh peg holes there i know i know i'm not telling you what it is yet <laughs> but i think this is an original piece okay i think so do you know what it is we're gonna set that down we're gonna come down here we're gonna take a look at what it's supposed to be, boom. This is what it's supposed to be. This is, they um, advertised that this was supposed to be, ba bam, a dinky toys made in England, okay? Um, but I can already see, I mean, yeah, what in the world did I get here, all right? It looks like the same thing. But the uh, right one here, which is actually a Dinky Toys, um, has gem headlights. And the one on the left 
does not. They are uh, right hookers, red interior. Obviously, they can change the steering wheels. That's no problem. Um, the, the motors are like the same. Like, you know, uh, little subtle differences. Uh, but they look like they could be the same thing. Opening doors. Uh, yeah. So what do you guys think? Do I have a Tootsie toy or a, a dinky toy? And if you can, uh, we can get in focus here. You can kind of see, um, trying to get my lighting in here so we can really kind of tell, um, Right down here where the flashlight is, you can kind of see dinky toys on the top there. And then Made in England is right by the uh, hash mark there. And then the wheelbase, Lant Rover, you can see Rover wheelbase 46. So very, very kind of interesting here. Um, so, you know, it kind of has that, yeah, if they could, yeah, that black really doesn't show up very well. But uh, the Made in England kind of shows up. There you can see the WB, the 46 in the, in the number, the patent number. So it looks like it's the, the, the right base. And uh, as you see, you know, the casting is correct, but... Um, there's an extra set of screws, you know, for this four-wheel drive <laughs> and side pipes thing. So I'm not really sure what to say because I can't find... I found a picture of this on the Google and it took me to the uh, eBay um, site that I bought it from and... Yeah, it, it, so that was no help at all. I tried to get more information about it. So guess what? Yeah, it's time for my friends on uh, the Friends of Roverland to kind of help me out here and tell me what I got. Um, I paid 10 bucks for this. I was a gamble. I, uh, like I said, from the pictures I saw, uh, I said, I'm going to try this because uh, it showed the base and it showed that pocket hole for the base screw, not the, the, not the suspension or this plastic piece screw, but the base screw. Um, yeah, I guess we could. We, should we take it apart and see what we got? Let's do that, all right? Let me grab a screwdriver real quick here. All right, let me grab a screwdriver and let's uh, get to investigating. I, I don't normally take my toys apart, but uh, seeing that it's screws, I think we should be able to uh, gingerly take this apart and see exactly what we're what we're actually dealing with here. Okay, so uh, if you're squeamish of heart and uh, stomach and can't take this, uh, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to just look away for a second. <laughs> All right. So interesting uh, screws there. And what I'm looking for is to see exactly if, um, you know, these are machine tapped out or somebody just got lucky and this fit on. So it's going to come off in two pieces. And this is also another reason why I think it's for real. Because these holes here that guide that guide this part here. We can get that in focus there. See, there's two peg holes uh, with that, that guides it into what looks like casted holes. Let's take a look at this one. See, you know, it, it's different. It's a different base. As you can kind of see, this one's got these uh, loop holes you know, casted, and uh, this does look kind of rinky-dink machined, but with that fitting just perfectly, wow, that just fits in there perfectly, and it's got tabs 
the tabs on the side grab the framework wow if that doesn't fit so now you can see the base there completely that that is uh, exactly what the other the other one says you know it is exactly what the other one says wow so let's uh, see if we can prize this one off here as Marty liked to call it prize it off yeah once again there are those indicated holes that look like they're cast now this is a uh, machine tapped kind of rinky dink but that has guide pegs and these clips again see these clips that hold on to the framework so yeah and interestingly enough and this is kind of how you determine uh you know you uh, csi here you know but if you look inside here you can see that there's no you know the the if, because it's upside down but if you had that right side up and had an axle in here for the life of this toy that would not have paint on there you know what i mean the axle would have wore that off and uh and stuff like that so yeah i'm really thinking that uh i don't know unless this is like some kind of aftermarket something but no it says dinky toys it's not like it just says made in china on it so yeah i really i really do think that this is <laughs> a rare piece that uh yes that's i don't know I, I wouldn't say slipped through the cracks but uh people don't know about i'm not sure but anyway i've i got the bugger i'm trying to line up those holes as you can see here and it's so precise too i mean it's only machined and cast that it would have you know worked out uh to find a toy that fits so perfectly uh with peg holes that you could <laughs> and then it, they drilled the peg holes just perfectly so that would fit on there, you know, with clips that fit on there. I would say this is an original piece. Uh, that's my uh, official <laughs> my official diagnosis of what's going on with this. Uh, yeah, I, and so that leads me to, hey, um, people of uh, Roverland, have you ever seen such a thing? This is just crazy uh yeah shaking there with excitement <laughs> i think i found and i got something really cool and uh you know wow take a look at that do you have anything like this now um i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna show you this is gonna be a thing remember this one but bam i will probably tag the the video at the end when i got this one and it had these, <laughs> I don't know, Cadillac wheels, but it was really kind of cool. Like, I don't think I paid all that much. Uh, they showed the base, but these are goofed up wheels. These wheels came off really easy. Matter of fact, I think I had to kind of, well, I haven't glued them, but I had to put them back on there, which this is a dinky, uh, you know, for real, but the wheels um, came off and they found and put on these wheels which are kind of the right size but that's not original i could not find anything about that and they don't this is the original wheels you know you can tell their their uh, button head on the ends of them you know this is this is it and on ebay or on on the google you can find other cars that have these wheels so yeah i this is the original and now i have this thing <laughs> not really my cup of tea uh this is kind of a, an american thing to have big huge tires on it and such and so forth all jacked up uh that's not really a land rover thing if you ask me but unless you're in uh the arctic but uh yeah so very very interesting i don't know what that hole is there for uh in the middle there because the other ones don't have that hole in the bed but uh yeah everything else screams dinky toys so wow i need your guys' help what do you think of this is this a, a rare find is this uh 
a real true dinky toy? All right, well, I gotta get out of here. You guys comment down below. Come on over to Facebook when I post this on Facebook over there at Roverland and Instagram at Roverland Channel, all right? All right, I'm out of here. Thank you for joining me for a one of Wednesday with an unboxing of a crazy thing. Yeah, crazy dinky toys. All right, as you know, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.